Why hello out there, we are back. ComC mail day, one of my favorite days. ComC, PSA mail days, always great days, fun days, and couldn't cover at a better time. Had a PSA sub ready to go, but it was a little bit weak, so this couldn't come at a better time. I waited a long time for one of these shipments. I requested it on December 30th, and they finally got it out to me on March 25th. So we'll go through, I got a lot of cards here. I don't wanna keep you guys, put it at 1.5 times. Go up to the top right, click, I think it's top right, and then the settings, and then you go to 1.5, maybe it's the bottom right. It'll go a lot quicker and probably won't miss much, but let's get right into the cards and I'll talk you through sort of what I'm doing with them. So first off, these are just the cards that I have obviously in penny sleeves. These are the cards that I have in penny sleeves and most not for grading, most of these are just gonna be listed up on uh, on eBay. So I buy them on Com C, flip them over to eBay. So we got some Caulfields. Casey Middlestat, Dylan Cousins, patch, doing a little bit of patches. They've done well for me so far. I pulled this on EPAC, overpriced, paid way too much for the pack of cards. What a great card, Rupe Hints here. This is the, this is just the platinum medallions, uh, but just beautiful cards. Really love this whole Fleer set. And I think, you know, as an EPAC exclusive, I think UD sort of messed it up a little bit, but anyways, they're, they're great cards, super well designed. I believe it was Gene, uh, Gene McLeod over at Arena Designs who had done that. Anywho, great set, we'll see more of that stuff. Ty Smith. Neat card there, won that on a Com C auction. These things I think are underpriced. Numbered out of 199. These are the red achievements. So we got a Mitch Marner, Tiger Woods, good for grading. These not necessarily, but they can be okay if you can manage to get a PSA 10. These good ones aren't in great condition, but you get a PSA 10, you can get a hundred bucks for it. And the cards are really inexpensive. You can watch make offers. Um, yeah, I don't know why I ship these home, but these are just base, not base, sorry, but the silvers of the, the FLIR, so base card, but it's got the silver foiling on the name there. Really like these cards, the Ultra Abilities. Got a whole pile of these, but I just left them on Com C because they're not even worth shipping home. But, you know, I think an amazing card. I think, or I wish rather that they would have done a numbered version, like some sort of gold out of 50 or something like that. I could see myself definitely putting some of these in the PC, just really like that card design. Johnny Taves, what's going on with him? Cole Caulfield, there you go, Lee. Liam. Pretty late on these, right? Remember when you were selling these for, for whatever price? I've had these sitting in my inventory and anyways, there they are. Neon Icon, Connor McDavid. More of those base, a couple of the ultra abilities I shipped home. McDavid, Troy Terry, Miko, Gabe, Miko, Ovi. So just the name players I sort of shipped home. It looks like Alex DeBrinket, maybe not all name players. Next batch here, Jack Hughes, ultra abilities, Robertson, Silvers, Rantanins, Ottingers. That stuff, Ultra Abilities, Nick Suzuki. Look at that. Some Brady. Hate that guy. I I need like a Ziri like freak or whatever the hell he does. I don't know. I don't I don't watch Ziri too much. But I know that much. McDavid. Sidney Crosby, another neon icon. There's more Caulfields, Caulfield, neon icon. So these are all just gonna be listed on eBay. You get a 10 on this. Again, it's like a hundred bucks, but Miko out of 199, that one's just PC. Curious to see how this one does. This is the Ovechkin, obviously Ovechkin Stamkos, 1617, I believe, checklist. 1819 checklist, I apologize. I don't know years of stuff, but this is the speckled. More of that, more Caulfield, Suzuki, Rookie, Alliance, sold one of these for a good price. So whenever I sell a card on eBay and I do well on it or, and do well on it, I'll go and buy another one. So I just bought another one of those to get it listed up. That's actually the same story with this card too. I think this card's a few bucks and obviously did pretty well. I had an individual who bought one of these off me and I couldn't find it and I had to refund them. And he said, if they come in from Com C, send them a message. So I may have one of those sold. 
Laffy, Morgan Geeky, this was a secret play. I don't know why I had one of these silvers and it sold for like $30. So if you look at the comps of Morgan Geeky, it, I don't know, it might still be mine at $30. Like Morgan Geeky isn't a $30 silver foil, but anyways. This is all the first order that took forever. Tage Thompson, some Gaudi, Ultra Abilities, more of these red foils. So you see, I sort of stick to the names and the Leafs. So Matthews, Marner, McKinnon. McKinnon, what a night tonight. Making a run at that heart trophy. Hope it happens. Uh, I got this at a Com C auction. Good price. Along with Troy Terry. I can't stay away from Troy Terry. You know what I'm saying? Just not having a great year, but... It's all good. So before I get into the top loaders, this was my second order of the penny sleeves. Got some different stuff in here. So a Messier, what's this numbered out of? 35? Just good card. I'm starting to buy a little bit more of the legends. I'm finding that people, especially in lower dollars, you know, 10 to $15 cards, people seem to be more into the Messiers than they were back in 2021 when everyone just wanted the new young gun. So got a uh, high voltage Hashik here. This one is numbered out of 199, as you can see. McDavid, another card. This is just a base, but it still sells pretty well. Swayman, nice card here. Kopitar in action, Pulsar. Makar, prominent prospects, some speckled Carlson. This is the cracked ice Sagan silver foils. These things seem to sell pretty well. So I stuck with, as you can see, McDavid and Sid. This Sid, I got it like four bucks. They're up to 12 on Com C. We'll see what, it's just going on eBay again, but be able to get a couple of shekels on that guy, I hope. Miro speckled, Swayman, there's a McKinnon silver foil so here's mario back to sort of the the bit of older stuff and i like this stuff i just like the stuff that's shiny and looks good is gonna photo well display well and you know people if it looks good to you it probably looks good to someone else right raising the cup don't know much about this card probably won it inexpensively in an auction or something uh, Matthews, these <laughs> these were one of my secret cards i bought so many of these and did pretty well especially with the macars made uh made a good buck considering i was buying them for like five bucks and selling them i think i sold my first one at like 35 then i sold it at 40 then up to 45 and and i've been through a lot of them over the last couple of years they don't exactly fly off the shelves you have to be a little bit patient but going back a couple of years they were moving well so anyways i can't help myself but buy those things who the heck is this oh that's ray bork a ray bork a patch and this i believe is game used but i won't Bore you too much. Ty Smith, Matt Pink, Otto, Laffy. We got a Carlson, or sorry, that's Alfredson, not Carlson. Daniel Alfredson, Black Diamond Patch. We got a Kovalchuk, Black Diamond Patch, and then a Sid. Last bit of the top loaders. We got a Ducky, game used. Who else we got? Shea Weber, UD Glass. Okay, these are, these are an EPAC exclusive, I believe. Yeah, these are from Ovation, which was an EPAC exclusive. And I like getting exclusive cards, especially if they're numbered, that are from EPAC, um, from ComC, and then get them on eBay because generally there aren't a lot of these listed on eBay, only the ones that are on ComC, and those ones show like $25 shipping. So got a rookie Caulfield there. Uh, Ovi sticking a big name, Stamkos. Won this in an auction, got a Kessel Christ, Ice Crystal. What is that? Numbered out of 275. Anyways, Bo in Buffalo, playing well. Last one I got here, Headman. Okay, let's get into the top loaders. These should be a little bit more fun. We got McKinnon again. This is this is just a PC card here. This is the Lucky 13 gold medallion. I do still need, I think, the silver medallion. There's a gold and silver this. That's the... The die cut, but really nice card. I hope that's showing okay there. Mario from my buddy Gabe. I'm sure that's the last one that I have. Sid. Always sells well. Numbered. Game dated moment. Who is this? Jake Sanderson. Game dated moment gold. Pick up some Steph Curry. If 
There, basketball just seems to make some nice cards. So if I think the card looks really cool, I look for Luca or Steph and I buy it. Uh, generally sticking with inserts and these aren't high-end cards by by any means but I want to see them in person and might get them slabbed up just for the PC or really just want to see them in hand see what they're see what they're all about but really neat card there Sid premier numbered out in 99 here's a Jeter I think that's Jeter I don't know baseball yeah that's Jeter but neat card there got that at auction good price Peyton Krebs rookie one for the PC I got the Sid, so I got the Stammer to match. These are numbered out of 100, I believe. Numbered out of 99. Another secret play, I did well on these Iced Outs, so I bought another Matthews. I actually just sold one of these last week too. What did I sell it for? Mm, I don't remember, but I pay like five bucks for them. I think I got maybe 15 on that one, but I again, I had these at one time up to about 25, $30 I was selling them for, and little honey hole I had. Just a neat looking Gretzky. I like Gretzky and Oilers jerseys, as I've said before. Another secret play did this. Second year McDavid base ice sold a PSA 10 for, I believe $230 Canadian. So I bought a bunch of these. I think I have four or five in here, something like that. But one of my little secret plays, here's a PC card. Went through all the Adam Scotts. I collect these autos. I really like these sign of the time. So I have for daily and couples and, and other players. and. Like the card, auction, McDavid, Pulsar. And then <clears throat> here's exactly what I was talking about earlier. So Ovation, these are Ovation Golds, numbered two, 299. So pretty inexpensive, but I thought they looked really nice in the, the good scan. So I picked up some rookies and some players that I thought would sell okay on eBay. Um, so we got Cole Perfetti, rookie. We got Shane Pinto, Turka, um, Uka Pekka, like him. Tomasino, Pekka, Maritz, Yessi Yolonen, and then there's a Brady. Just beautiful card, right? Other than, other than the player being pretty shitty. Great card. Continuing on, Alfredson heads up. These cards are, these cards are awesome. Just, they look really good in hand if you're a PC guy and like Alfredson, just a, uh, yeah, great card. Um, some exclamation, that's an exclamation gold. These are some silvers, just to get listed up. The Scoring Kings, these are pretty short print. Not super short, you can get them, but there's not a million of them. So we got Stammer and McKinnon for the PC. There's an Adam Fox, I wanna go on eBay. There's a Makar to match the, the McKinnon, obviously a, a PC card there. Braden Point, got it auction. McDavid, happy about this one. The Net Magnets, Pulsar or Mosaic, whichever one it is. Numbered OPG, Black Border, Base. I think that's what they call these things. Oh, Black Rainbow Foil. So numbered out of 100. You'll see I got some more of these coming up. Perfetti Rookie. Steven Stamkos, Stay with the Cup. That's for the PC. Maybe I can grade it. Um, just seemed pretty inexpensive. When you have Kale McCarr at like 300 in this Stamkos, I got for like... 13 US or something. Just seemed like I had to buy it. Back into the golds, the ovations, load up eBay. Byfield, Byfield, Pinto, Mercer, Yes, Yelonen, Synergy, Auto, one at auction. One of my secret plays that went bad, it, so it was a secret play that didn't turn out, it was not the silver foils, but with the base, Brandon Montour. I bought this way back when he was on fire. I bought it before the price went up and now the price crashed back down. So who knows what we'll do with it. We'll sell it, that's what we'll do. Mike Medano, legend. This one, again, numbered out of 100, so the marquee, marquee legends. Always looking for numbering on those things. This one, Zach. Said it was a nice card, it is really nice. I have the white behind there so you can't see, it's sort of stained glass and you can see through, but another couple of those McDavid's, Shohei bought this a while back. They grade extremely well as long as you can get centering that looks okay, so we will be grading that in all likelihood. I haven't looked at any of these for grading. There's a Caulfield pageantry. I, I just think cool cards, neat looking cards. I like them, so I'm sure someone else will. There's another Lights Out, Lights Out Steph, Pyrotechnic Gold, Sid, and then a EX Exceptional, Randy Moss. This one, unnumbered. I wanted to see what these cards look like. There's a blue Peyton Manning, which 
Zach has as well, and I want one of them, but I want one that's numbered. Datsuk, getting these black borders. These are all numbered out of 100. I'll show these a little bit better, I'm sorry. It's going through, they're really nice cards. Should photo well, sell well, I would hope. Sid with that Planet Metal Red. So I carried over my iced out play, this is a Kale Makar out of 99, and we'll be selling these. I did well with them the other year. I think these look sort of neat. I wish they were a little bit more goldy. They're sort of greeny yellow, but nice looking cards. Perfetti, McDavid. Dry, we have a, which variant is this? Because they all look the same. These rainbow foil metal, metal X, uh, golds, they all look similar to me. Probably need them side by side to tell the difference. Nick Suzuki, retro rainbow. Got this at a good price, Ernie Els, so I collect golf autos. And this guy being numbered out of 25, I thought. I, I won at auction as well and got it at a really good price. I think I paid 20 some odd dollars US for it and to me it just felt like a great price for an exquisite numbered out of 25, Ernie. Um, if you're into golf, you know. Bavillier, Morikawa, again, PMG, numbered out of 100. These very nice cards. The gold speckled rainbow foils, so Reimer and Thompson. And then we'll get into the slabs from that I have from this sub. Got this guy off Jeremy Lee. Peter Forsberg, Refractor, season's best. Nice card there. I guess I should have taken them out of the plastic, but that's okay. Patrick Wadden, number out of 50. Gonna crack this guy. Let's go back to PSA at some point. Tag eight on the OV Ultra Stars Gold. Got this, what I think was uh, steel as well. Quinn Hughes, the Sapphire Blue, these guys numbered out of 25. 25? Yes, 24 out of 25. Short Prince Sid, the Fleer Ultra Team, PSA 7, don't care. They come up, and they're and they're still coming up, but they're, they're very short printed, and I like the card. And then Nathan McKinnon, Tag 10, second year uh, OPG. Platinum Seismic Gold. So I don't collect Seismic Golds generally. I have a Kale McCarr rookie, and this is this is McKinnon's first Seismic Gold. So this is one that I will keep for the PC. More top loaders. Got Caulfield, a UD Glass of Stammer. Kyle Connor, Auto. Won at auction on Com C, best in the world. Sid Pulsar. Henrik Sedin. Future Watch Clear Cut. Was really surprised that this didn't sell on Com C, so I ended up just shipping it home. No idea why this Caulfield is in a top loader, but it's okay. Dazzler's Purple McDavid, Connor McDavid. These are sort of neat cards. These take me back to the day. These are when I originally collected back in the early 90s, had this sort of design, so sort of neat that they do that. Kaylin Addison Speckled. Got a Landy Speckled Gold Speckled. Gold Speckled, lots of Speckled. Um, Adam Fox, Pulsar Mosaic, whichever one it is. Ilya Kovalchuk, I got a little Kovalchuk PC going, so figured I'd grab that one. Lidstrom Refractor, I don't see where it says that. Anyways, Austin Matthews, numbered card. You got some, I think these are the Titian. These are the achievements out of 75. I don't know if that's how you say it, but we grabbed Adam Fox and Clayton Keller inexpensively. This is a gold, gold Miko, big man on ice. Centering, as you can see on that O and the B look pretty good. So hoping to grade these and just really like those cards for the PC. Got a few of these. Patrick Roy and Nathan McKinnon. Rink Masters, Sid, numbered out of 25. Got that one for the PC. Ukapeka, this one I got on the eBay, the Com C eBay live auction. This Mad Shogard inscribed. So happy with that one. Got this one too at a pretty decent price. The Kale Day with a cup. I know it's Kale Makar with a cup. It's not gonna be, go into my PC. Number one, look at the centering. Look at look at how high up my lighting is is not. I'm not very happy with it here. I'm sorry, guys. But look at the UD logo is almost off the top and how much room there is below. So you can see the centering there and on the back, the same thing. Like it's so off centered and a lot of the ones that I looked at were similar to that. So it's not gonna get a 10 and 
when the new cup comes out, there's gonna be other cards that I'm gonna get. Like I would like I would like this card as a signature renditions with Kale's Auto. Like that's a card I would put in my PC, but for this one, I just got it at a good price. And this is gonna be going to a new home, hopefully sooner than later, but nice card. Happy for Kale. Stammer and gets left. Last little stack of top loaders. Couldn't pass up this patch on Harley. The Dallas Stars just have great patches. So this is an exquisite rookie, just patch. I don't collect just patch cards. I like patch autos or just autos or whatever. But I thought this one was pretty cool. So picked it up to sell. Another one of these McDavid. I didn't know I even had two of these, but happy to have that. Hopefully one will get a 10. Austin Matthews in action. Pulsar, a good card there. This one, I really wanted to see. This is the checkerboard, the ovation uh, variant, and just wanted to see what it was all about. And it's really a, really a neat looking card. So you can sort of get an idea there of, of what she looks like. But nice card. So got this for sort of PC. Kucherov. Kucherov, Rising Force, numbered out of 99. Random Cal Ripken, numbered out of 25. Cracked Ice, yes. Lafreniere, is this numbered? Yeah, numbered out of 35. Pachua, Heart Hopefuls. This is the Bronze Heart. There's a gold one that's numbered as well. Ovi, Artifacts, Old Artifacts, numbered, in action. Henrik Lundqvist, Amped Up, Nathan McKinnon, numbered out of 11. I um, think I overpaid for this, but it's going in the PC out of 11. You know, you don't know if you're going to see this thing again. And it's not the most beautiful card, but whatever. I, I still want it. Another McKinnon Wa. Neat cards here. The Meteor Showers. They look really good in, uh, really good in hand. I hope this is doing, I hope this is doing it justice here. Uka Pekka, two of those young guns. And then we get to the last... Guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope you watched this at 1.5 times. I don't like keeping you this long, but there, I thought there were lots of sort of neat cards in here. Hit that like button, subscribe. Leave a comment what your favorite card is, what you're doing. Be happy to hear it. Be making more videos. I always am, but you guys know how it is. Life gets busy. It's busy. Mark Recchi, Atomic Refractor. Really cool card. BGS 9.5. BGS is dead. BGS is dead. I should crack this, right? Crack this and get it in a PSA slab. That may be an option. Created this one myself. We got a Swayman B PSA 9. We got a Tomasino Speckled PSA 9. This one graded all by myself. Wyatt Johnston PSA 6. Maybe a pop one. Who knows? But I actually had a quick look at this. No idea what's going on. I thought I'd seen a crease sort of right here or something going on, but it turned out to just be the baggie. So I gotta get a better look at it. This might be one that I crack resub that goes uh, six to 10. Even the white corner, which I was initially concerned with, uh, it's actually pretty crisp. It's just sort of the white edge that is the edge of the card. It's not whitening, it's not flaked, anything like that. But I still like Wyatt Johnston having a good season and we'll see how Dallas does in the playoffs. Nikita Kucherov, PSA 7. This is numbered out of 10. I like Kuch, but that one will be sold as well. Linus Olmark, PSA 10, silver foil. Cole Caulfield, this guy. This guy numbered out of 25. This is the green foil from the Fleer, Fleer Ultra EPAC exclusive. In the green, graded this one myself actually did okay. So Cole Caulfield, French, PSA 10. Definitely be selling that one. Was hoping Caulfield would score more goals this year, but say Levy, this could be a good playoff card. Out of 99, these ice premiers are just tough to come by. PSA 9, this is the highest graded, I do believe, if I'm remembering correctly, when I looked. And could be good in the playoffs. Hopefully it'll go soon. Score to Mishy tonight. And the last card that I have, guys, again, hit that like button, subscribe up. I appreciate it. I'm not gonna keep you. Com C. They're super slow. You have to pay for rush service. Customer service is far from spectacular, but they have the cards I want. What, what am I going to do? Jason Robertson, PSA 10. There's my eBay. That's a great sound right there. Uh, Jason Robertson, OPC, OPC, o 
Jason Robertson, OPG, Glossy Rookies, PSA 10. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.